we have spent seemingly countless hours trying to get a Diamond Red Fox in single player, so today I thought we'd switch it up and actually come to multiplayer on Hirschfeld because Yukon is a map that we hunt a lot, and we have a lot of stuff from Yukon in our trophy lodge, and of course Hirschfeld and we don't tend to hunt all that often. So I thought if we're going to hunt Red Fox anyway, we might as well be on a map where we could stumble into something else for the lodge that would be a little bit different, and we'll kind of see what we can find out here on a map that we really don't hunt all that often. I don't know that I've ever seen a level 1 male European bison, and it's actually an opportunity to break out one of the weapons that we're using today, and a weapon we really rarely actually carry, and that's the 4570, and the reason we have it is pretty much to cover animals from classes 4 to 9, and just kind of do something different with a repeating rifle, because currently we're running with a different set of skills and perks than normal, and it's because of the tent glitch, so tents are really commonly getting like knocked down by beavers and you have to set them back up. So rather than basically struggling with that, we're carrying tents all the time, and we have the pack mule skill, so in order to kind of make up for the lost inventory space with the tents, we're just carrying three weapons, but the 4570 will get the job done. And I mean, it's not going in the main lodge, but I would definitely say a Hall of Shame kill for sure. Just tiny little horns on that level 1 bronze. I really can't remember ever seeing a level 1 male Euro bison. We definitely had plains bison, but... Might as well throw that in the Hall of Shame. I would at least imagine that they've always done it, but it's kind of cool to see a herd of red deer feeding in a cornfield. Like, I can't remember ever actually laying eyes on that, but there's a decent level 7 there. I think it's probably still a silver, but I actually don't know the requirement. We must have hit a hind or something in front of him. Luckily, we still got him. We may require Rocky's assistance to go and find whichever other one we hit. That is really cool though, you can see the antlers sticking up in the cornfield and everything. I actually don't see one running off as if it's hit poorly, so I'm not sure what happened, but we might get to figure it out. There's also apparently more red deer down that way. We definitely hit two of them. This one is just a hind. I didn't even see it there, and I guess that's the one negative of hunting them in the cornfields, but our stag's down here. I do want to see if he can make gold, because it's a good look in level 7. I like that kind of bare bones frame. It doesn't have the super crazy mass that most of the sevens do. And it is actually a gold at 183. So gold's 182, he barely made it. Pretty good looking stag though. And from the hunting pressure, it looked like only the stag went down. So we may kind of just head off and forget about the hind. Just because red deer feed time only lasts so long. And it's going to have us like out in the fields where, at least kind of up here in the Hirschfarten region, as far as I know, Red Fox do kind of rest right in or near the field, so it might be a good spot to actually be in. Actually, right as I was saying that, I think the hind did go down. So just honestly, out of curiosity, I do want to try to find it then. We'll get Rocky on the trail. Hopefully it didn't go too far. The fact that it took so long to go down probably means that it was just hanging with the herd. And I'd say that was probably the case, because just on the bottom right of the hunter mate there, you can still see the hunting pressure. And then where actually did we hit it? Kind of like right in the front of the neck. We were really close to just insta dropping it, but I really don't remember even seeing one there. It must have been visible, because if its head was up, there's no way that we couldn't have seen it to go for like a shoulder shot on the level 7, but that was not the way that was meant to go, but we got a bonus kill out of it at the end. This has really been one of the slowest hunts we've had in recent memory, but at least we have a couple of wild boar out here, and that one's kind of giving us a shot. I'm really not sure with the 4570, because it's going to be a little bit like slower moving. Might have gotten that about where we wanted it. He's starting to go down, so I'm not too sure, but he's a similar estimate to the black gold we shot over there on Medved, and that one made gold, so I figure we might as well go for that. We do have a max estimate fallow track. I'm not even sure, but I think on Hirschfelden at 1500, they'd be resting, so it might not be much fun to actually find him. I'm sure he's not exactly out in the open, but we may go and look for that, because with the hunt going so slowly, we might as well take the opportunity to track something that might be good size. And who knows, if it's leading us out of the open, it might lead us more into areas where like other things such as Red Fox might be resting. By the way, that was a non-vital organ hit, so even if this guy is big enough to make gold, we're not going to get that out of him. And he was just a little silver anyway at 92. But yeah, you can see that slower moving around kind of effect there, where we're that far back despite leading him as much as we did. So that's one thing we got to be careful of using the 4570, but it is nice to have that quick follow-up, because, for instance, if we had the 7 mil earlier with the red deer, we wouldn't have gotten reloaded in time to actually make that long shot on the male. 
So there's a bit of a trade-off there, but I think so far between the wild boar intestine shot and getting the gold red deer, it's definitely been worth having. Well, at the very least, it did lead us into an area that I would maybe expect Red Fox to actually rest in, but unfortunately the tracks kind of just seemingly ended. And of course we can do pretty well with Fallow over on Te Awaroa, but I guess we'll kind of hunt around here and see what maybe hangs out in this area late in the evening. Apparently Wild Boar is one thing, but just a female, so we'll probably keep going this way. Well, at least we actually did find a Red Fox, but unfortunately it's just a female by itself. Might as well take it out since we're here, but so often red fox travel in pairs with one male and one female, but when we finally find one it's just going to be a solo female, but it's good to at least see one. We know we're in an area that we can find them then, but I guess maybe it could be considered a bit of target practice should we actually run into a good one. Nice to make a hard shot there. There's no way that's the same fallow deer, but a max weight estimate level 4, it's about 200 meters out, which is kind of going to go back to that same thing earlier with the slower moving round of the 4570. Plus we have to aim a little high. Not sure if that was neck or heart, but I'd say that was about the right place to go for that shot. Definitely vital blood. I'm not sure if that really matters though. I think neck, brain, or like lungs and heart would be vital blood. But it was actually just straight double lung. I'm surprised that that range had dropped it. I know the 4570 is a big caliber, but oddly enough, it doesn't show that it went through the lungs and the angle it's kind of showing it almost looks like it would miss the far side lung, but it's a 174, so just barely a gold. But nice to actually get a gold fallow after having a good sized track earlier. Well, it's not exactly Hall of Shame worthy, but that is not exactly the red deer I was hoping to see coming out here during red deer drink time. And he must have actually spooked. We can go ahead and hit him with the 4570. And I just wanted to kind of come through here a little bit away from the water, because all kind of down through this area is pretty decent red deer uh, drink zones, but. I thought maybe being up off the water may give us the opportunity to run into more Red Fox tracks. And actually, as it gets later here, Red Fox are going to start drinking really in the next like five minutes. So we're probably going to switch it up. We actually do luckily have the night vision binoculars. So we'll probably equip those now. And we may go to some of the areas that tend to have more Fox in them and just see if we can spot any actually in their drink zones. But at least we managed to get that guy brought down pretty quickly. And I'm not too sure where the best place to actually look for Red Fox drinking is, but I'm kind of thinking maybe some of these lakes down in here, and also probably these as well in Jonsdorp. So maybe that's where we'll go since we're near there, and at least kind of start our search in that area. I want to say this is the first male fox we've seen the entire hunt, and of course it is just a level 5. It actually looks oddly pale next to that female, but I think if it was albino it would be a little more obvious. And yeah, it's definitely like an orange color. So, we'll go ahead and bring him down. It took getting to Red Fox string time just to find a male, but maybe if we can continue down this trail we can actually find some better ones. I actually find it kind of odd that it looks so pale at a distance, because it's a darker common fur type for them. There is like a darker male still, but it must have been an especially dark female. I actually want to check. Where is the track from the female that was here, just in case it would have been like a melanistic? Should be this, and she is a common, so... Just had to check in case. I really can't imagine why, but even during their drink time, it just seems like Red Fox are basically non-existent on this map right now. And unfortunately, three and a half hours into Hirschfeld and Multiplayer, I think we are going to have to call it a video, so I do want to go back and actually place our European Bison in the Hall of Shame Lodge, because it actually is relatively rare that we get like a larger animal that can go in the Hall of Shame Lodge, but a 52 trophy rating Euro Bison is definitely pretty small, and even though that was the only Trophy Lodge edition we made today and it's to the Hall of Shame, we still are going to have to put those hours into maps like Hirschfeld and then Yukon if we eventually want to get a Diamond Red Fox, so eventually it's got to happen. Even if we are going to be continuing to put in long hours on maps where we're not getting much of anything, but at the very least something to kind of enjoy in this little lodge, if nothing else. So anyway, I think that's going to do it for this video, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.